So spiritual warfare is uh, is the topic today, and uh, I think that is something that we are all going to relate with today. So um, hope y'all hear this video and uh, enjoy, uh, because actually don't enjoy this. Like just know that this one is uh, it's a true hot topic, just like hot topic in the malls, right? There's a there's a lot of darkness in that place. Uh, not just like negative, but it's just dark in the place. So they call it hot topic. Um, so this past week has uh, it's been a heavy, uh, heavy week of uh, spiritual war warfare. Um, so I've been having lucid dreams, uh, nightmares, and I don't I don't get nightmares, guys. Um, it, it was a long time ago that I used to get nightmares and my nightmares were not your ordinary, uh, original nightmares. Uh, whenever people would, uh, get killed in my dreams or I would die in my dreams or, uh, you know, something bad would happen, you know, it would, uh, it'd be bloody, it'd be gruesome, it'd be evil. Um, so let's talk about all the types of, uh, spiritual warfare that is actually around. Um, there's a uh, physical spiritual warfare, uh, psychological spiritual warfare, mental, uh, emotional, spiritual, uh, sexual. I might have already said that word. I'm not sure. Um, but there's no going back on it now. So if I said it twice, that's, that's a real thing. It's sexual warfare. That is a, that is a heavy one. Um, so yeah, um, lucid dreams, um, psychic, like, uh, how do you, how do you say that word? Uh, I don't even know. That's like psychic spiritual attacks that people can either put on you or people you don't even know, or you could just be inviting it in whenever you sleep by what your subconscious is thinking because you know your subconscious is you know active while you're sleeping so you hear everything around you um a lot of people are uh you know having a lot of uh emotional issues for me um i'm having a lot of emotional and spiritual um battles right now and uh a lot of it has to do, um, you know, either with family or uh, friends or just, you know, things in, that's going on in, in, daily, uh, in daily lives. But uh, what do we do to stop spiritual attacks? Does anybody know? Uh, if anybody knows, um, just put a description and uh, I'll have it to where there's a comment section. I don't know if anyone's going to comment it. I would... Uh, I don't, I don't plan on it, uh, cause I'm not really that big on YouTube, but you know what? I'm big. I'm very big. I'm a, might be in a small body, but I'm a big dude. Hold on. Oh no. Oh guys. I almost dropped my, dropped my phone on my selfie stick. That would have, that would have been bad. And I'm on walking on concrete. So I thought that that might've just interfered right there. Um, it's difficult, um, to talk, um, this past week I've been, uh, been really quiet, haven't, haven't, uh, haven't wanted to speak much. My anger has been trying to get the best of me and I can't let that because I'm Charles and Charles is a nice person. Charles isn't a mean person. He's caring and compassionate and loving to others and to himself. But Shane, on the other hand, now that dude, he's he's brutal. I closed him I close him up. I don't I don't let him out. And this past week, I have almost let him out. Yesterday was was really bad. Uh, got angry I was pissed off at the world and you know I'm, I'm, I'm questioning myself 
and I'm wondering why. Why am I getting pissed off? Why am I getting angry at the things that I can't control? And I see that that's the reason, is that I can't control it. Because that is a world that we are, we are in, we are living in. We are living in a world that, you know, has already got a set plan, that's already moving in motion, that we can't do anything about. We can't, we can push things in our direction. We can also manifest or attract things that we can bring to us. Um, But it's how we describe our actions. If we're going to reflect on the good and positive, you're going to get good positive, you know, reinforcement. Um, So I guess kind of like karma, but it's not karma. Um, Because, you know, anyone can, everyone believes in some type of destiny, fate, karma, um, delusion. There's everything. Um, What we attract, you know, will, will disclose of, what we bring of the outcome. Um, So I'm trying to stay positive in a negative environment. And uh, by doing that, positive actions and positive creations and positive manifestations will come, but also the negative manifestations are going to come with it because this world and a person that is wanting to destroy this world doesn't want positive. He wants negative because that's what the whole battle is, uh, is about. You know, it's a battle between good and evil, good thoughts, bad thoughts, uh, good actions, bad actions, uh, cor- uh, encouragement or silence. Uh, free will or tyranny, which that <laughs> it goes, it goes into deep, 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 deep conspiracy. And you know, I will, I will enlighten conspiracy on this video because conspiracy is very dangerous and it's very bad and it's very cruel and it's a dark, cold world, guys. And right now since a lot of people are opening up their eyes and they're talking evil is moving fast the faster that we grow and the faster that we're waking up the faster they are going to make it to to try to make everything happen but you know the battle is already won the battle's still already been won you know good always triumphs over evil even though evil looks like it still wins, it doesn't. It doesn't it doesn't win. Evil has never truly won. Um so with that, with the Bible. Alright, so God created the heavens and the earth. The heaven and the earth. Heavens and the earth are right. see I always get, you know, that I don't get that part confused. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily know. Um, just just waiting to find out. But uh, So he created the heavens and the earth. And they had the Nephilims or the Nephilims. I'm not good with uh, those words. Um, but they were giants, you know, half demon and or full demon. And they mated with human women, you know. And so that created uh, half-bloods. So I guess like Harry Potter and the half-blood prince and stuff. Um, part human, part beast, part demonic man. I don't even know. Um, what are we going to do? Are we still going to cower down to it? Or are we going to speak it into life? Because there's a lot of darkness that isn't getting speak, spoken into light. And I'm, I'm trying. And it's hard. Because when you're trying to speak something positive and good into light, you know, darkness, you know, it cascades into people. And 
they they try to dog you on whatever you do, whatever you don't do, things that you haven't even done yet, and they say that is bad. You you won't be able to do this. How how did they know? What if a person was uh like a broke person, all right, or a homeless man, and you know he had a goal, he had the determination. Um, to start his own company or to become the wealthiest man alive and people say that he can't do it is do we believe that or do we just not care what they say and just still try um i guess that that goes into the spiritual warfare because when so many people tell you that and they say that you can't do this or you can't do that you know you start believing into their their thought process and you start reflecting on that um <laughs> i guess that that can be basically said what i'm kind of uh, in the situation of right now um i'm actually working on uh making some shirts um figuring out how to make some shirts uh don't got any money to do it partly so uh i'm kind of a kind of a broke guy right now but I'm not broke. I'm rich. I'm rich in the heart. I'm rich in the spirit. You know, I might be broke in uh, the physical aspect of life, but in the spiritual aspect of life, I'm rich, guys. I'm golden. You know, I got a heart, you know, gold. Um, not saying I'm worthy or anything, but we're all worthy. And uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because life is meaningful. How you doing, sir? You doing good this morning? Yeah. You say you're doing good this morning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting the, getting the truck washed. Well, have a good day. God bless. See, and it's just like saying, you know, God bless to a person. You know, um, any type of word that you bring to someone can change you know, something in their day. They could be going in a negative way and that one word can uh, can impact somebody's life. I know that it did for me. And I know what it has for a lot of other people. And I know that you wish at times that you could take it back, maybe. But honestly, do you want to? I mean, if you're if you're thriving for something, you know, big or something good, we uh, keep thriving it. Keep keep being determined to make that positive action, make that positive thought, because you know, life is precious. Life is meaningful. Know your worth. Make a difference. You know. Because we can. We're here for a reason. No one is here not for a reason. Because if you weren't even here, then there wouldn't be a reason. So I always think now that I've died. You know, so many, I've died quite a few times, guys. I've had seven drug overdoses. I've been smashed on my skull. I was out for 10 minutes and. You know, I came back and, you know, I might have lost my sense of smell. I might not be able to walk too well. But I don't live in that negative mindset anymore. And I guess you could say that, you know, it's always there. The negative mindset's always there, but I choose not to enlighten it. As hard as it may get sometimes, I don't ever enlighten. I don't want to enlighten that because I've been a negative person for a long time. And that's where it comes into the Charles and Shane aspect. Because Charles is caring and loving and compassionate to others. Shane didn't care. He cared for himself. He didn't care for others. He didn't care if he hurt you. Or he just, he didn't, he didn't care. You know, I could say something 
to somebody and they would just be like, why would you say that? It's like, I don't care. What's the, what's the reason? You know, it's true. No, it's not. I made myself believe that that was true because of my negative ways and my negative thoughts and my negative actions. So, I don't know if this all veered into spiritual uh, warfare, but I hope that, you know, it, it did. And that some people, they understand it because I'm only here to reach to y'all into the way that I'm able to speak it. Um, I guess parable wise or, you know, symbolic wise. And my words might make no sense, but it makes sense because it's, it's, it's so it's speaking from the heart, but it's trying to speak to the hearts and speak to the spirits that brew in every individual's life today. So with that, I'm going to be making a, a video or two and it's going to be a rap session. Hope you guys enjoy because I am, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, excited about it, but I'm also kind of nervous because I'm not really much of a good rapper. But you know, it's, it's the Savior's eyes that's watching my back, so you know, gotta reach those hearts of gold. Um, so guys, um, seventeen-minute video, uh, more than I was. Uh, expecting at all it took me 17 minutes to walk around my block that's bad that's a that's a lot more time than what it's usually been taking um all right guys so i'm gonna be uh gonna go be making this video uh probably about one two and uh once i record that just boom like subscribe share get the word out i want my voice to be heard you don't have to i'm just asking if you would because that is uh that is how we make a difference is the people that speak out you know it's either they're going to be heard or they're not going to be heard but you know we all can't do this on our own we always have to have somebody you know with us we need, we need everybody to come together and help. Because if one person is doing something, he is bound to fail. But if there's more than one can join together, you're, you're, you're bound for success. And you're bound for righteous. You're down for righteousness. Um, I mean, you can. You can still be doing good thoughts and, you know, being doing good actions, but still not in the righteous mindset or aspect if that makes any sense so uh i could really go into conspiracy now really bad um but i'm not going to maybe in these uh maybe maybe next video so uh y'all are awesome this is charles speaking out in the mind of charles charles swag 12365 yeah. All right, guys.